So that's it, they break away and roars at the start. Paris House de Grey in the centre and Food of Love uh, just being outpaced. Blight and Lad, what a big horse. One big one, one small one. Look at Blight and Lad's size compared to Paris House. And Paris House is leading Blight and Lad in front of him. Uh, on the outside, Sir Harry Hardman in red and Mon Bleu is in the blue colours. And they come down through the first quarter mile and it's Paris House getting the day. Paris House, they pass the three by a length and a half to Blight and Lad the rail, Mon Bleu, Sir Harry Hardman and pushed along off the pace is Food of Love. They're halfway in the Palace House stage and it's Paris House leading from Mont Bleu, the light blue cap, and that's coming with a run now. And Sir Harry Harbin, Blight and Lad is uh, going to get a run through next to the rails because there's no doubt about it, Paris House is having to go to work, and here comes Mont Bleu on the outside. They're inside the final furlong, and Paris House, the grey and Mont Bleu, and it's uh, Mont Bleu going on from Paris House up towards the line. Mont Dieu, Mont Bleu wins it. Mont Bleu is the winner. Paris House is second. A big gap to Blight and Lad. Good race to be placed. Food of love and Sir Harry Hardman follow those home. And so, although the French horses ran disappointingly in the Guineas, they've uh, come good here in this Palace House Stakes because this Group 3 race with £28,000 on offer has gone to horse number two, Mont Bleu, in the colours of Daniel Wildenstein, trained in France by André Fabre and ridden by Thierry Jeanne. Second horse home is number five, Paris House. John Carroll tried to make all, couldn't. Third horse home, number one, Blight and Lad, ridden by Stuart Webster. And here, uh, Paris House is, uh, well, he was racing on the rails and he's come two or three horses wide, well inside the final furlong. And Thierry Jeanne in that light blue cap, stretching on this son of last tycoon and uh, really coming home quite well. I thought Paris House would be able to uh, find the reserves to try, try and come and tackle him again. But over this fairly stiff five, he just didn't have them. And it was Mont Bleu who landed just a little bit of a shock under Thierry Jeanne.